Jordine Matthews, and this is Setters of the Week, presented by Ivy Rehab. I'm here with Nyang Zhang Liu from Pace Men Swimming and Diving. First of all, we have to say congratulations. Thank this you. This past weekend, you guys competed against the reigning NE10 champs, Southern Connecticut State University, and came out victorious. How does that feel for you and your teammates? Um, it feels pretty good. Individually, I feel like I, I've, I've been training consistently, so the times I achieved and were probably to expect to be expected and as a team I believe we did really well we fought pretty hard we had a hard week of practice and despite that we maintained our game and managed to come on top you competed in four events this weekend won all four of those out of all those events what was your favorite and what was the hardest I guess for you to compete in um, I would say my favorite event was the two free merely because it was the first event I swam and I had the most energy and the most uh, competitive and challenging event was probably my last event when I was worn out from the other events I swam, which is the 100 free. You guys have been doing pretty well. You've been kind of on the top of the NE10 charts throughout the beginning of the season so far. Where do you guys see yourselves going into the, into the rest of the season? If the team maintains the consistent training, uh, I believe we will be able to achieve uh, top places in the NE10s and hopefully some of us qualify for NCAAs. And of course we have to ask you, you're doing great already so far, but how does it feel being named setter of the week? Um, feels pretty good. Um, I'm honored to represent pace swimming and diving and uh, there's probably a lot more to come from us. And there you have it, that's your setter of the week, Nian Zhang Liu. And we're back with your set of the week, Yana Sarek for Women Swimming and Diving. Competed this week against Southern Connecticut State University. Didn't come out with the win, but you competed in four events, won all four of those events. How does that make you feel? Uh, it makes me feel awesome. Girls did a really good job. We were really close to winning, but unfortunately we didn't. However, next time we'll probably do it. Um, it was really great. Great. I won four out of four events. <laughs> of your events that you competed in, what was your most favorite and the least favorite event? Uh, my most favorite event was the 100 free where I competed against the NE10s champion, sh champion uh, from Southern Connecticut State University. And my least favorite event was the 50 free. Why is that? Because it's too short to think through it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like by the time you get started, it's over. Yeah, it's over. It's 25 <laughs> seconds or less. So you don't have time to do anything, basically. You can't fix it if you get it wrong. So. You got you, but you luckily got it right. Yeah, <laughs> this time. <laughs> All right, now we have to ask you, you know, you're a freshman coming in here, making a name for yourself really early in the season amongst the ranks of the NE10. How does that have to feel for you, and what are you looking forward to with the rest of the season? I have set really high goals with my coach, and I really hope I will accomplish all of them. Uh, one of them is winning the NE10's title, any title, any event. I honestly hope I will do really well and make the NCAA cut. And that's basically it for this season. I honestly hope I will be again here and maybe Rookie of the Week or Rookie of the Season. We'll see. I'll try my best. Well, you're here now, so we have to ask you, of course, how does it feel being named Setter of the Week? Uh, it's amazing. As I, as I have already said, I really want to be here again because it's an awesome feeling, honestly. And there you have it. That's your Setter of the Week, Yana Sarek.